Hi everyone and welcome back to Linda Libra Loja. Today I wanted to share with you my um, labor and delivery story. So if you're not into mummy stuff or um, if the thought of hearing about labor and delivery without any gross details or explicit footage scares you, please turn in next week for a beauty video. Um, but for everyone who's been asking me how it went, here's the short summary. I had my son on March 7th, which was the estimated due date plus one. And uh, I was at home with our daughter, I already have a two-year-old, and I had my parents on call because um, my husband was working. He was, he's a physician and he was on call and he actually left the day um, before, it was Sunday at 8 a.m. and hadn't returned. He was still at the hospital, still working with emergencies. So um, it was around 3 a.m. and um, no, it was around 2 a.m. when I awoke and my water broke. And obviously if you plan for that and know your significant other will be away and you have a toddler, you have lots and lots of plans and you're worried and you're worrying a lot about everything that could go wrong and in this case everything went wrong in the first place. My husband, as I mentioned, was away so I tried to call my parents who live an hour away to come over and take care of my daughter so I could leave for the hospital and um, their phone didn't work. It was the, the landline and somehow it just didn't ring so I was sitting there trying to call them and I didn't answer the phone and um, I tried the mobile but they hadn't my mother had the mobile down for charging because she had the landline next to her bed so I was desperate because I figured I'm here I'm starting to have contractions I can't leave my daughter I, I don't want to take her with me to the hospital and uh, my husband is away so I tried to call my sister who didn't answer her phone. In the end, I uh, tried FaceTime because I knew my mother loves to read on her iPad and she heard her iPad and she answered via FaceTime and they packed their bag and drove up here. And in the meantime, my husband had called a co-worker who was kindly um, coming in to take on his shift. So he was coming home to take care of our daughter as long as my, uh, when my parents were driving up here and I got to the hospital via ambulance which was a strange experience because usually if you don't know I'm a physician and I work as an emergency doctor I usually seated at the head and talk to the people lying there and there I was lying and had someone sitting at my head talking to me it was strange when I arrived at the hospital the co uh, contractions were about every five minutes and they were bearable in pain but um, when the midwife checked um, I was already four centimeters dilated so they put me into the delivery room um, immediately. My husband arrived about 30 minutes later, asked for the epidural right away because I had one for the first time and um, I knew I wanted one but it was very difficult to place it this time and it ended up working just on the left side of my body while the right side of my body wasn't numb. And I have done countless epidurals at my time myself. I know how hard it is and then it sometimes just doesn't work. So it wasn't the fault of the poor doctor. But after several tries, I didn't want another try and uh, I said, okay, I'll go with it it's lesser the pain I can I can push through it and uh, well I had to push through it um, quite immediately because after the epidural was set I was fully dilated and about half an hour later it was time to push everything went really quick but in the end the last centimeter um, my son's head was just too big so they had to cut um, which they had with my daughter as well because they obviously both take after their, fa their father um, with a very square jaw and strong head um, yeah after they cut he just popped out and the total time from my water broke to he was there and lying on my breast, breast crying and I was crying and my husband was crying and just like you do it wasn't 
a little more than five hours. So a quick, speedy and easy delivery after a quite rocky start. We stayed at the hospital for um, two days. Ever since then we've been at home. My daughter loves her brother. She wants to carry him and when he cries she comes up and starts stroking him and says all's fine, all's fine, alles gut, alles gut and um, yeah, it just melts my heart. So that was my short and quite uneventful luckily labor and delivery story. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next week with uh, another beauty related video. Bye!